getting ready for the big day, but you have a trip in mind. Let's hit Nashville with hands-on experiences for you and your friends to enjoy and create memories for the big day. Blame it on your boots. First, we're going to start off at the Lip Lab. This is such a cool experience. You, you can go in and create your own shade and flavor of lipstick and they make it right in front of you. You can book a private party or um, you will see here there are groups of people that came in to do it together. Um, they will also do it virtually. That would be interesting. But look at all the different colors and flavors that you can create. It looked like such a fun thing to do. There were probably about three or four groups in there. It takes a little over an hour from start to finish. I do have their website. Um, it'll come up in a minute, but this is located at Assembly Food Hall. So it's right downtown, very convenient for your group. Now here, she's going to unmold the lipstick and put it in the holder. They'll even engrave that. Now I didn't see them do that, but I thought that was pretty cool. Awesome. The Lip Lab, that's located in Assembly Food Hall, right up from Broadway. Put that on your plan to visit when you are in Nashville. Next up, you're going to create your own cowboy hat. <laughs> it's a little pricey, but very cool here. This girl's going to explain. Okay, so it actually started out in an open crown shape. It did start like this. I used steam to help shape it on the sides. I also used a brim cutter to trim down the brim. We added some hat bands, which you can even bring in. It starts out flat, and then I use a steam, and this one starts out kind of like in a dome-like shape, like the ones on the wall. Yeah. And so then we use a steam to shape it, and we added the bands as accessories, and then we branded it and shaped it, so now it's almost perfect and ready to go. These are beaver and rabbit fur felt, so the steam helps soften it so that so we can shape it. Pick a line of hat, pick the shape and style you're looking for. You take 30 to 45 minutes, and you walk out of it today. And how much are they? They range from 175 to 425. I thought that was pretty cool. And if you're having a Western wedding, you can create your own hat for your bridal party. Now that was located in the Gulch. And while you do that, there are some food options down there so you can enjoy the afternoon. Next up, create your own candy at Goo Goo Cluster Candy Factory. Yes. You can book private parties and if you check out their website, you can see all the different experiences that they have. But I mean, you have me at Caramel and Nuts. Um, they have candies that you can purchase and ship, but when you go to the back of the store, if you want to do it just individually. Right, so I'm going to, at the Goo Goo Chocolate Factory here in Nashville, and I'm going to design my own candy. That sounds like awesome. You can make your own candy. You can select the chocolate, the fillings, the fillings fillings. And there you go, 15 bucks. <laughs> it was very good. I got to eat a little bit of it because it melted in my handbag on the way home. It takes, I think it was there probably about 20, 25 minutes because once it goes through this process, you see here, they're actually hand making all the filling, stuffing your chocolate, they have to put it in the freezer so it solidifies and you can take it. For me, it doesn't get any better than the car and caramel and you'll get some a snicker kind of girl. But this one I made with white chocolate is going to be awesome. So this is a fun stop. It's right across the street from the Johnny Cash Museum. I just finished up with that. Came in here, designed my candy. And um, hopefully it'll make it back to my room before it melts because it's a million degrees outside. Alright, Google 
Posture Patch. It's right across from Johnny Cash. Next up, I hit the Tennessee Legend Distillery. This is in Marathon Motor Works. They call it Marathon Village. And you could buy, obviously, any of the bottles. They do not ship. So if you want to take it home with you, you obviously have to take it home with you. But they offer tastings. And seriously, it's a little thimble. You have five little teeny tiny tastes. It was very good. Nothing that you're going to get drunk on. That one was my favorite. Creme brulee, cream liqueur, liquid dessert. But it was cool. And then I went down um, just a little bit from the... Um, distillery was this jewelry shop and I actually bought a pair of these earrings very cute unique items if you're looking for bridal gifts Christmas gifts holiday gifts birthday gifts check that out now we're gonna go back downtown to 60 vines restaurant at assembly food hall and why I'm pointing this out as an experience because all of their wine is available on tap and you can purchase them in 2.5, 5 ounce, 8 ounce, and a carafe. So you can have your own little wine tasting party with your friends and family. Choose a bunch of appetizers or, and entrees and mix and match. And you can mix and match the wine and you can have a lot of fun with that. And the food is delicious. Here at the Donut Distillery here in East Nashville. And I just ordered a coffee cocktail flight with four donuts. They also offer a mimosa flight as well as a beer flight. This should be interesting. Give it a try. Now, that's when the fun begins. All of the different modes of transportation where you can drink and sing and dance. The party buses. Everyone was having a blast. It was really cool to watch the buses go by. I don't know which one my favorite was. I think it's either that front end loader. I don't know why you want to try to pedal. That looks like a little workout. Or they have a dump truck coming up. It was pretty cool. But you can have fun no matter what. Now we're on Broadway. And once you get to home with your tractor for your party bus experience, it's time to hit the honky tonks. Day or night, live music, multiple floors, anywhere you go downtown. The talent is unbelievable. I can't say enough how impressed I was with all of the entertainment. Um, I will tell you, the drinks are not cheap. I paid $9 for a Corona at Kid Rock's bar here. She was fantastic. This was on like the first and second floor, plus they had the third floor, the fourth floor, and the rooftop. Another bride there, dancing with a white camel. I bet her feet hurt when she's done. But it's so much fun. You can't, you can't go wrong with any place on Broadway looking for entertainment and the ability to hoot and holler and carry on because what happens in Nashville stays in Nashville. And check out a little bit of Old Red. He's across the street there. Luke Bryan, Jason Aldean. Here I'm on a rooftop. I don't remember where. Um, Miranda Lambert. I like her bathrooms are very clean. So is the restaurant. This is an assembly food hall. So I hope you enjoy this trip. Have some fun. Your last hurrah. I'm going to leave you with this. Unfortunately, I can't play the music because it's copyrighted. But these two were fantastic. They did not know each other. They jumped up on stage and played um, Sweet Child of Mine. It was amazing. So check out all the bars. You never know where the next big talent will come from. And if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe. I have more content coming up from Nashville and several other adventures. <laughs>